here. Today is our second day on our new project. Yesterday we didn't do much flimming because yesterday was was lots of wind and I didn't want my camera to fall over by the wind. So I just put it away. Today you're gonna get more flimming. I want to give you a walkthrough of what I did yesterday and what we're about to do in today's video. So sit back, relax and enjoy it. Alright, so yesterday we worked all the way around here. We did that much. Come all the way around here. This is a stone from Rhinox. Work all the way come around here. Now we didn't do the joint yesterday because it was a little bit too wet. Now if you do the joint when it when it's wet it's gonna leave a haze on your stone. And we don't want that so you always want to try and have it dry at times if it's not too cold you can leave it till the day after that's what i did here that's from yesterday and now we're going to go back to and do our joints we're also going to put our weeping plastic go all the way around we're working today hopefully to finish this section finish this bay window go all the way up and hopefully work our way over that side as well so with no further ado let's dive right into the video go ahead and give your boy ryan a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming video like this one. Let's get into it. installing stone it's important to have a reference line in each corner now we're just setting up our reference line in each corner just to use as a gauge or as a guide to maintain the straightness in the corner as we go up so once you get a 45 nail hunker it to the top use a line to the bottom of the stone and plumb it up Followed by that, we install our weeping plastic, and after that, we install our Tyvek and tape our scene. Once you finish that, we're good to go. Whenever you come across a hole like this, this hole is a four inches hole that normally left open to vent your cold room so all we're doing here we're just cutting our stone around it and afterwards we're going to insert a piece of four inches pipe into this hole So if you notice, I removed that stone and I put some mortar at the bottom. It's very important to whenever you're laying your stone, you match all the, the bottom of the stone should match with each other. That way, once you, you do your joint, all the bottom of the, each stone should be on the same level. It's very important. 
sometimes it can be tricky especially if you put in a smaller size stone that is not the same as the the same height as the one that's there it's very important for you to look underneath the bottom of it now don't just go with the level because sometimes it can say level but the bottom is not match with the, the the existing one that's there because not all stone um come with the same height that even though they said it's five inches not always they're always on the same height so it's better to always have the top match so that way once you do the joint it looks nice and level and look professional just a little tip for you guys
Okay guys, well there you have it. If you get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming video like this one. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.